Good morning, scholars. Happy Tuesday. Today for math, you're going to need to grab your scratch piece of paper and your pencil, and we are going to get started. All right, scholars. So today we are going to continue to work with parts and wholes and 10 ways, as well as number sentences, but we're going to do so using a uh, number bond. Okay, so go ahead on your paper, draw a number bond, and in one part, draw 10 circles, and in the next part, draw three circles. I'm going to do that with you. Four, five, six, so now that I have my two parts, 10 and 3, I'm going to write 10 and 3 here. I want you to represent the whole in your circle. Go ahead and represent the whole now. I'm going to draw 10 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to add three more because that's my second part. 11, 12, 13. I'm even going to write 13 here as well as here. I'm going to put my two parts. Just so you guys can see that when you have 10 and 3 and you add them together, you get 13. So 10 plus 3 added together is 13. Now, Go ahead and write a number sentence. Now that you guys did that, go ahead and check your work. So I have 10 plus 3 equals 13. Now yesterday in our exit ticket, we actually solved a number sentence, but we solved it vertically. So I'm going to show you what that would look like if we use these numbers as well. So I would go 10, and instead of going plus 3 horizontally, I'm going to go down to the next row, and I'm going to draw my plus sign, and I'm going to put 3. And I didn't put 3 under the 1, because three there's only three 1s instead of a group of 10. So I put it in the 1s column. And then I'm going to draw a line, and this line represents the equal sign, just like we draw sign here. And then 0 plus 3 is 3. And then 1, there's nothing here, so it's just 1. All right, scholars, I'm going to give you now your two parts. And what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video, and I want you to fill in your number bond just like we did here. Okay, so go ahead and draw your circles in your parts and draw your circles in your whole. So my two numbers are 10 and 6. Go ahead and pause the video right now and fill in your number bond. All right, scholars, so now that you guys did that on your own, I'm going to go ahead and do my board, and you guys are going to check your work. So the two numbers were 10 and 6. So I need to make sure I draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then six here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I now know, because I've been working so hard on my 10 and more strategies, that 10 and six more is 16. So I'm going to draw 16 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. So my two parts I see here I have 10 and here I have 6. My two parts are 10 and 6. And my whole, when, add, when adding 10 and 6 together, my whole is 16. And that I can see in my number bond because I have 10 circles here plus six circles here, and in our whole circle, or the circle that represents the whole, I have 16 circles. 
So now let's go ahead and write a number sentence based off of our two parts and our whole. Go ahead and pause and you can either write it horizontally or you can write it vertically. All right, scholars, now that you guys did that, go ahead and check your work against mine. So I'm gonna show you both ways. Here's horizontal, 10 plus six. And I did 10 plus six because those were my two parts. Equals 16. That's how we would write it if we wrote a number sentence horizontally. If you wrote it vertically, it would be 10, and then we'd go down to the next row, plus six. And I made sure to line up my zero and my six. And then I put six, eight. All right, scholars, now let's go ahead and have the numbers 10 and one. Go ahead and fill in your number bond, just like we did in the last two slides, using the numbers 10 and one. All right, scholars, now that you guys did that on your own, let's go ahead and check our work. So in my first part, you know, I need to draw 10 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I drew 10 because I told you guys the numbers were 10 and one. So 10 circles go in my first part and one goes in my next. So my two parts are 10, one. And my whole is what 10 and one make when put together. And I know that 10 and one more is 11. So I'm gonna draw 11 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. My whole is 11. I'm gonna draw my number sentence of so 10. one equals 11. Now, I was just thinking that yesterday we also talked about the 10 way. Let's go ahead and think about what 11 would be if we said it the 10 way. Go ahead and share out loud what 11 would be if we said it the 10 way. If you said it's 10, one, you're correct because you have one group of 10, and you can see that here in your first part, and then just one left over. So 10 plus one is 11, or if you said it the 10 way, you would say 10, one. Let's go back to this slide. Our number was 16. What would 16 be if you said it the 10 way? I didn't share out loud. If you said 10, six, you are correct because you have one group of 10 or 10 circles, and then you have six left over, so 10, six. All right, scholars, it is now time for our exit ticket. The exit ticket is asking today, look at the numbers in the gray box. Circle the parts. So I'm gonna show you one, and then I'm gonna have you pause, go to Google Classroom, and complete the exit ticket on your own, and double check your work back on our lesson. So the first number is 12. Now, I need to see what two numbers are 12's part. So is it 10, six, or two? Now 12, I know using the 10 way is 10 and two more. So 12, the two parts are 10 and two. Go ahead and pause your video and come back when you are ready to check your work. All right, scholars, now that you guys did your assignment on Google Classroom, it is time to check your work. So we have 14, and I know that 14, the two parts that make 14 are four and 10. And 20, ooh, we did this one yesterday. My two parts are 10, 10 equals 20. 18 is eight and 10. They know eight plus 10 is 18. 11, we just did this one, is one and 10, because one plus 10 is 11. And then last, but certainly not least, is 16. We also did this one today. 16, I know that two parts are 10 and All right, scholars, great job today. Continue to practice those 
flashcards that are linked down below. I will see you tomorrow. I miss you all so